And welcome back to a special birthday who will win to Draymond Killer 18. What's the question? Who won a fight? Um, Tom from Dino Froze in T-Rex form, as we see here, uh, versus Pyrus Dragonoid from Bakugan. You want to talk about two things I know next to nothing about? I at least have what a wary of Bakugan, but I knew nothing of Dra Dino Froze. <laughs> Um, the best I know of Dino Froze is the, what I had to look up for the character. Um, uh, Dino Froze, uh, one second here. Dino Froze. Yeah. The animated series where people apparently could turn into dinosaurs. It's, out. Oh, okay, here's why I don't know anything about it. It's an Italian animated series. Fair enough. Um, <clears throat> and let's see here. Dino Froze. I know. Hey, it had, it had actually two whole seasons, 52 episodes. A lot of shows can't say that. Um, the series depicts the adventures of Tom Carter, a 12-year-old boy and his friends who, after playing a board game, are teleported into the past where they can transform into dinosaurs using stones called Rock Froze. It was foretold in Legends that Dino Froze would come to save people from the merciless rule of the Dragon Shaman. The Shaman is a magical magician with immense magical powers who was a major help to the Dino Froze in the journey to destroy the Lord of Dragons ne Nisir Necron? That's not Necron, that's Nisiron? Necron? Uh, in retaining the Rock Froze. The Rock Froze is a unique rock fragment who gives the Dino Froze special powers in fighting the cruel generals of Necron, Necron and the subordinate dragons. Another important uh, uh, important uh, to help the Dino Froze is a huge mammoth named Oh, God, you can tell us it's Italian. Um, Nelsten? Nelsten? Nelsten, whose family was killed by Nesseron. Necaron, in an armed-to-armed -armed combat. Tom's father is another important person who travels ahead of the four time travelers in order to save Tom from the Dragon Lords. Um, now, let me be... Are we dealing with actual dragons? Or are we dealing with, like, the equivalent of dragons in this series? Uh, let me see what the dragons are like here, because let's, let us not mince facts here, folks. Dragons in almost every depiction beat dinosaurs. <laughs> uh, okay, let me see if I can find some images here about what these dragons are like. Um, okay, dra okay, so, okay, are these, these are basically how the, yeah, I'm sorry, I don't get the logic of how dragons lose to dinosaurs. Got to say that flat out. But whatever. <laughs> Apparently in that world, dragons lose to dinosaurs. So, Tom can turn into the T-Rex and actually other dinosaurs as well. But you were specifically asked for him in his T-Rex form. Uh, gives him a very powerful bite. Uh, and this, uh, very lots of physical power. And a massive tail to whap people around, dino, dragons around with. That is literally all they said in, like, his, its bio. Their bio, it's this guy's bio. About what the dragon form can do. Or die, the T-Rex form can do. Like, oh yeah, he's got a massive bite. Okay, it's a T-Rex. Of course he does. Okay, you can hit him with his tail. Well, no shit. <laughs> you gotta give me something else to work here. It's like, okay. Oh, God. So, Pyrus Dragonoid. I don't know what you actually mean when you say Pyrus because Pyrus is basically a, or Pyrus, yeah, is basically fire attribute is what it is. Now, this uh, seems to lend its cre uh, itself to it being a character named Drago, who's apparently one of the first Bakugan. I do not know Bakugan at all. I'm sorry. Uh, now, I do know, like, these are all, like, creatures that are these weird, it's, Bakugan was kind of like, not a blade, Beyblade ripoff, per se, although there's definitely some inspiration from it. But it's some weird game involving these little round balls that, you know, flop open, as you can actually see in the picture next to me. The actual uh, toy is kind of in there. That's the picture I used. And they all represent these monsters, basically, these creatures. And Dragonoid, or Drago, <clears throat> really named Salamander, apparently, uh, Pyrus, so forth and so on, is is one of them. He's actually stated to be the strongest among them. Uh, and he has a butt-ton of forms. Now, if we're not dealing with a form transformation here, I mean, that's great. The problem is, is that in terms of 
game mechanic versus world logic, this is not an easy... <laughs> This isn't an easy freaking fight to do because I have to try to figure out game logic versus uh, like the world logic of a different series entirely. Uh, and all the abilities I'm finding here are simply ca are, are card abilities. It's a combination like Beyblade with cards, basically, kind of. Except the tops don't actually fight. Um... So, uh, I, uh, this, this doesn't, this, uh, why, 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 why is this, why does it gotta be like this? Why, why does anything have to be like it is? Huh. Okay, I will do the best I can to try to translate. Apparently, if ability cards are anything to go by here, or, uh, or fusion, or whatever, it can give me an idea of what kind of abilities within the lore world of this Bakugan this character probably has. Beyond just having amped forms, we'll pro most likely be looking at, um, uh, together with Dad, young Pyrus Dragonoid, nicknamed Draga, sets out to defeat Naga, the Doom Beings, <laughs> to save the planet. I was like, God, oh my, it sounds like a 12 year old wrote that. Uh, where he's gonna defeat Na Naga and the Doom Beings. Doom, we're gonna sing, we sing the Doom song. Doom dee doom dee doom. Oh, God. I'm not trying to make fun of you, by the way, man. I'm not. I'm just... That's what it sounds like to me. It sounds like a 12-year-old wrote this. Uh, and he evolved into Delta, Drag uh, uh, Delta Dragonoid after that. Which, great. Woohoo! But, um... We are looking at Pyrus Dragonoid, not Delta Dragonoid. Sadly, Delta Dragonoid looks a lot freaking cooler in my mind. Really would like to use Delta Dragonoid for this, but we cannot. Uh, okay. So... Let me see here. Attribute Pyrus, which is fire. I'm just getting a bunch of numbers next to the letter G with an S, a G's. Yeah, that's all I'm getting here, so I don't know what that even means. What is G's? What are G? Okay, G's. Okay, I got something here for G's. Let me know what G's are, please. G powers. Okay, G powers are simply known as G's. Is the basic measurement. Ad. Ad. I hate ads. Uh, South Park is right. Punch ads in the face. Uh. Simply known as G's is the basic measurement of Bakugan's current level of power. In early Japanese rule books, it stated that G stands for gravity. Okay, see, gravity power, the G power may be affected by ability cards and gate cards, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so see, that's something I can at least work with. It gives me an idea of the level of power this guy has. Um, now, in terms of, does it give me anything like base? Okay, power 340, then it goes to 380, and then 400. And he'd say to be one of the strongest, if not the strongest of them. Great. He has ability cards called Boosted Dragon, which adds 100 Gs to Dragonoid for the rest of the game. Great. And boosts him up. Firewall. Uh, subtract 50 Gs from the uh, from the opponent. Okay. Fire Tornado. Great. Rapid Fire. Fantastic. Boost Ultima. All right. Uh, Melt Flare. Interesting. Another Boosted Dragon, but that's in the video game. All right. Um... So, okay, so in the world that Dino Froze exists in, dra dinosaurs apparently outrank dragons. Figure out that logic, but that's the way that's the way it works. Okay, cool, sweet. This is Dragon uh, Dragonoid. Uh, Pyrus Dragonoid is, by all accounts, a dragon. In theory, this guy should outrank him. But he does have abilities, and I do not know if this thing is fire. The T-Rex form is fireproof. Uh, and we're not dealing with any of the upgraded forms of uh, this character either. If we were, this would probably be a lot clearer of a fight, theoretically speaking. Okay, so, I mean, he does have the ability to fly, which puts him out of the distinct edge in the sky, and he can just attack from a distance. So, there's that. And honestly, I did, from what I could see, the dragons in that series, even though they have wings, still tend to attack physically. So that actually, you know, that tells me that if the dragons were smart enough to attack from long range more often, and I don't have evidence that they don't, I'm just saying, from a little I just, a little I saw looking into this, it seems like they're actually melee oriented, despite the fact that they are, um, that they have the ability to fly and are dragons. Uh, so you assume they have a breath weapon. Whereas this, whereas this character uh, clearly can fly, 
and has a lot of ranged weapons that are used as ability cards, so we can assume those abilities translate into what its abilities actually would be. I... Mm, again, it, it's so freaking... It's apples to oranges. It's not even apples. It's apples to onions. That's a different about what we're dealing with here. Um, I will say that from the little I can tell from ba from Bakugan here, uh, and the little I can tell from Dino Froze, physically speaking, if the fight comes close quarters, Tom is going to win, and it's T-Rex 4, because he's just d tailored to take on uh, dragons a lot more effectively. But if the fight remains at a distance and just breath weapons, fire tornado, rapid fire, whatever, um, keep being used against him, uh, Tom, I will give the uh, I'd give the edge to Dragonoid, and I think, or Papa or Pyrus Dragonoid, uh, and I think the real difference here is uh, between the style of combat. I think Pyrus Dragonite is going to stay out of range more uh, more often than not than against than Tom normal dragon opponents. So I will go Pyrus Dragonoid, but look, if you know these properties far more effectively than I do, far better than I do, please don't at me, okay? I know jack all about this. This is a birthday request. Um, I did the best I could in research, but there's just, it's, it's not, the problem, I always, this, this bugs me sometimes. Not because I feel offended or anything, but just because people don't seem to get it. So you really need to do your research. It's like, a, dude, dude, or lady, well, ladies can be dudes, 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 dude and dudettes. Um, there's only so much information out there. Now there's a lot of information. I only have so much time a day and I'm not going to read through God knows every freaking comic that's ever existed. Watch every show of a character that is suggested just to do a video that I know is only going to get maybe a couple hundred views at most. Um, at, at the low, at the level of quality, like visually speaking, I do it at. Like, get, you know, people who get on, people who try to get on, not just my case, but anyone's case for that, you need to back yourself up just a little bit. Like, t uh, t take your fan privilege and check it. Because uh, as fans of anything, we can be entitled little pricks. Sometimes we really can be. Anyway, I'm, from the bare bones knowledge I've been able to find about these characters, I will go Pyrus Dragonoid. But again, if you disagree, cool. You're right. <laughs> uh, absolutely. I, I'm, I don't care about being wrong. On, I don't care about being wrong in any of these. I just usually am confident in my opinion on some level. But until then, what do you think? Let me know. Until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you for the next one. Have a good one.